So I decided to do a bit of a experiment slash challenge for myself. So this challenge was basically to just shoot a B-roll sequence with a variety of different lenses, but only use one lens for the entire sequence and then do it again with a different lens at a different focal length. So the focal lengths that I decided to use based on the lenses that I had are 20, 50, 85, and 200. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know I don't have a 50 millimeter lens. So how I managed to do 50 was to use my 20 millimeter and then throw the a7 IV into its APS-C crop, which would be about a 1.5 times. So now we're up to about 30 mil and then the S7 IV also has clear image zoom up to 1.5 times in 4K. So that's another 1.5 times. That gets us to about 45 mil. And then I just added on the lens breathing compensation. And that gets us close enough to 50 that it, it effectively works as 50 mil. Now the downside to this is because you're using clear image zoom, I think you lose some autofocus stuff. I'm not 100% sure how it works, but you definitely at least lose you know, the tracking, the box that's around my eye right now on the screen here, you don't have that. And it just felt like the, the autofocus performance wasn't as good. So I'm, I don't see myself using clear image zoom much, but it is good if you just need to, you know, turn a 20 mil into a 50. Anyway, the sequence was basically, let's call it like it was as if it was an ad for this bottle of lens cleaning solution. So all it was was, You'll, you'll see it in the sequence, but I look at the lens, realize it's dirty, walk over to the drawer, rummage around in the drawer for a bit, find the lens solution, and then come over, open it up, spray it on the lens. And after I show you each one, I'm going to just go through my thought process and some of the challenges that I came up against shooting with the particular focal length that I did. So here's the 20 millimeter sequence. <laughs> So that sequence was all shot at 20 millimeters, and one of the biggest challenges I noticed shooting so wide is, and this one, one thing that I notice a lot of the time shooting really wide, is it just doesn't look as good because you just can't focus in, you can't get the depth because it just, you could just see everything, and I don't really like that. So it was not the easiest thing for, for me to do, was to shoot that that sequence 20 mil but the big benefit to using the 20 mil is I can get that shot that was from the perspective of the draw I put the camera in the draw whereas I wouldn't have really been able to do that with the 85 and definitely not the 200 and I could also get the handheld shot of me doing stuff in my hands a lot more easily like I can I can throw this around in my hand and twirl it around in my hand or something like that and still just be able to manually you know handle this camera so it looks at least kind of handheld Whereas with the longer focal lengths, I can't really do that well. So I basically had to be on the tripod the whole time for everything else. And that is probably the biggest limitation of this whole challenge is I wish I could have done the whole thing handheld, but because I don't have anyone else to be my talent, I had to do it. So it was basically just tripod for the majority of shots. Anyway, let's move on to the 50. 50. So that was the 50 millimeter sequence. I didn't find it too much different from the 20 millimeter shooting it at least. I had very similar angles and shots from where I put my tripod and the lighting was all very, very similar for every single shot in all of the sequences. Basically how I felt the 50 went was it was a, it was just like the 20 mil, but just all the shots were just a bit tighter. I'm sure it would look slightly different if I shot it with an actual 50 millimeter lens. One of the actually sort of best things I noticed about shooting with this 20 millimeter lens but at 50 millimeter was the close focus distance because this 20 mil the close focus distance is actually really short on a normal 50 millimeter lens it's not so I could actually get really close to the subject and because it's cropped in so much it seems even closer so it's as if I took the 50 millimeter let's say the 50 millimeter G Master 
either of them, 1.4, 1.2, doesn't matter, and then just halved the close focus distance so I could get that much closer. So that was sort of the one benefit I did notice with the 20mm shooting so cropped in that it was basically 50. But now let's move on to the 85. So one of the first things I noticed that with shooting with at the 85mm focal length is I did have to step back a little bit more to get the shots that I wanted, but that also meant that I could step back a bit more to get the shots that I wanted and add some depth. And I really liked the over the shoulder shot while I was in the draw and it had that foreground element. So that's one thing that I really like with those longer focal lengths is being able to add foreground elements really easily and it looks really pleasing when you have them there. Also, I think the 85 was the best shot that I did of my face. And really the only issue that I encountered with the 85 was there was one autofocus issue just because the autofocus on that 85, that is the cheapest lens and the oldest lens that I do have. But I did notice editing it, the autofocus wasn't the best. Maybe I should have manual focused everything and I did manual focus on some things but I left it in autofocus for most of the time. All right, now let's lastly look at the 200mm sequence. So that one was all at 200mm and as a person who really enjoys longer focal lengths and telephoto shots. I did have the most fun shooting the 85 and the 200 mil, but they were also a lot more challenging, mainly because of the space I'm in. As like, you know, we're shooting at 20 mil right now, so it probably doesn't look that small, but that wall behind me is two meters that way. So it's, I'm not in a particularly big, big room and I do, this is my bedroom, so I do have stuff everywhere. And I found it quite difficult to put the camera in places where I could see enough that it wasn't a super close up and you know and shoot it at 200 mil so it was a bit harder to get those shots but I do like how some of those shots really turned out and then when it comes to that last shot on the lazy Susan as the product rolls around I really like the 200 mil shot just because it is so compressed and the background's so blown out you can barely tell what's going on but yeah that's pretty much it for this one just a quick little challenge if you want to do it yourself tag me in or send it to me or whatever i would enjoy seeing them let me know what you thought of these ones what which one did you prefer the best 20 50 85 or 200 while you're in the comments there's other buttons down there for you to press so do that and i'll see you in the next one okay bye